Well, preparation is certainly the watchword for those in Bonnie's path, but if history's any guide, the pounding force of the hurricane will leave many homes, prepared or not, in tatters. Steve Gandell reports now on an astounding new type of house, one that its creators claim can stand up to Bonnie. This is not a giant igloo, or as local pilots call it, a golf ball. This is home to John and Rosemary Menendez, and it sat right in the path of Hurricane Ann. With its swirling winds and driving rain, a hurricane is one of the most powerful forces on Earth. Folks, we're having gusts of over 100 miles an hour. And one of the worst hurricanes ever was Andrew in 1992. Damage in southern Florida, estimated at $25 billion, the most expensive natural disaster in U.S. history. But not to John and Rosemary Menendez. They were able to weather the winds and rains in their dome home. It did not budge. While there was some water damage from the storm, Hurricane Andrew huffed and puffed, but couldn't blow this house down. When you were putting this up, did, did your neighbors laugh at you? Was it, was it sort of like the three little pigs, and they said, what are you doing there? Well, I guess they thought it was kind of overkill, and I have a feeling that if another bad hurricane comes, they're all going to come and stay in my house. <laughs> the storm-resistant dome is the brainstorm of Michael Busick, who makes and markets the kits with his wife, Glenda. Today, they run a company called American Ingenuity, housed in what else? These domed offices near the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Here, workers make the kits for each dome. Triangles of concrete poured over steel mesh, set on foam backings for insulation. But it is the unique shape of the domiciles that give them their strength. In this computer simulation, arranged for us by American Ingenuity, a dome stands up to 200 mile an hour wind. And the dome shape is also resistant to twisters and even earthquakes. Let me show you how. Here's a dome shape we're all familiar with. It's an egg. We know how thin the eggshells are. And yet when I wrap my hands around it like a hurricane and I squeeze, <laughs> it worked. The egg isn't breaking. And just to show you it's a real egg, there you are. It survived Hurricane Steve. First Still, the domes are, shall we say, unusual looking on the outside. But on the inside, they feel very spacious because they don't need supporting interior walls. This is the Busick's master bedroom on the second floor, complete with third floor loft. They even have a doggy dome outside. Of course, there are other ways to be storm resistant without resorting to domes. Seaside Florida, used in the movie The Truman Show, survived Hurricane Opal in 1995 with extra nails and other reinforcements. The domes have not been certified by any government agency, but they are guaranteed by American ingenuity to withstand storms and earthquakes. And there are more than 300 families worldwide who feel safe calling them Dome Sweet Dome. Interested? The domes can be bought in kit form from American Ingenuity. A kit sells for about $18,000 for a 2,000 square foot home. Of course, that price tag doesn't include the cost of land and furnishings inside.